Okay, we're having a little fun on this today. In case you haven't noticed, styles are changing on the gridiron. It started with these guys. You know the Oregon Ducks. They have so many different accessories. They're never out in public wearing the same thing twice. Well, here we go. Georgia got into the act Saturday. Kind of a red and black ninja look, if you will. And now come the Maryland Terrapins. These were the guys. They wore these uniforms last night. There's a guy named uh, Vince Lombardi who is probably spinning around in his grave right about now. <laughs> Monty Durham, he is a friend of the show. He is on the phone with me. He is the fashion director and stylist and uh, fabulous host of TLC Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta. Monty, you there? I'm here. Hi, How Monty. Are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for coming on. I never thought I'd be talking football with you, but let's do it today. What do you think of these Nor uniforms? Did I. This is a new one for me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, I tell you what, it is amazing to me that these guys kept this a well healed secret. I mean, we haven't seen this much secrecy since the Duchess of Cambridge's wedding gown when she walked out in Sarah Burton's, you know, gown for that. I mean, they come out, they play in their regular uniforms, then they turn around and go back in, and wow, do they give us a bang. Why, so, um, why keep it a secret? Just to I get know, us talking about it? And who did, my big thing is, here we go at guessing again, who designed these? Where did they come from? Um, I think I'm blanking on the name, guys. Under Armour, thank you. Yeah. Under Armour, yeah. It, but it, yeah, but it's very interesting to see, you know, from a design standpoint, it's very symmetrical. If you look at the helmet divided in half, well, it divides down onto the shoulder pads. So they do match hat to shoulder. Well, so, hey, and we're getting close to my three Fs, you know, which are fit, fashion, and fabric. So they got a couple of those thrown in there. <laughs> well, hang on. I'm going to stop you on the helmets because I'm just going to read some of my tweets. People were saying they look like crash test dummies. They look like they're two-faced Harlequin, harlequins. I mean, the fact that they're sort of like split down the middle, you think that's a fashion yes? Well, you know what? I think depending upon which side of the field you're on, it could be a benefit to you. <laughs> you know, we don't always get to see them head on. I think while this is totally out of the box, it is fun to see this happening in a sports arena. I mean, you know, I'm used to seeing changes from the bride to the reception to the going away outfit. Seems like they're taking note of that and following suit a little bit. What do you think? What would, let me ask you this and then I'll let you go. What would you say okay. you would like to see on a, a, a football uniform? If Monty Durham could design something that would be pushing the envelope just a tad, how would you design a football uniform? Well, you know what? If I were, um, it would be monochromatic. I'm very big about that. The accessories would all have to match. And, you know, we'd have to showcase the talent. So um, legs are important in football and so are arms. I'd make sure those are totally showcased. And I would be able to make sure every single body knew who was in that uniform. So it'd be number or name would be very, very big in my book on that.